Good afternoon, everyone. I am Renee Lane from the Washington APSI Board, and I want to thank you all for coming out to my hometown in Kitsap County. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the conference so far, and thank you to all who have stayed until the end. I am excited to have the opportunity to introduce you all to one of the most incredible people I have ever met. You might have seen her working during the early morning shift at Safeway in East Breverton, or the front cover of the Seattle Times carrying the torch for the Special Olympics ceremony last summer. She is the perfect, and I mean perfect, example of how one person can change and make a difference um, for people of all abilities. Without further ado, please help me welcome Jennifer Goodley. started when I was 12 years old and I've been in Special Olympics for 25 years. My number one favorite sport is powerlifting. Kaiser Permanente is committed to supporting programs that create inclusive, healthy, and thriving communities. Healthy Athletes is a screening program that we will have set up during the Special Olympics USA Games to screen seven different disciplines of health. We started going, hmm, I wonder if you know, we could help our athletes get healthier. So we started doing some assessments, and when we started doing the assessments, we began to realize a lot of physicians don't know how to work with our athletes. We bring in those trained individuals, working with Kaiser Permanente to provide that, uh, that medical support that we need. And uh, they also provide guidance around nutrition, how to care for your teeth, how to care for your body. It allows the athlete to perform at their peak level when they are out competing uh, or just living their life on a day-to-day -day basis. It really helped. It really made them feel a difference. So I really avoid the soda pops now and more vegetables and fruit I eat now. It makes me just feel happier and stronger. It's not all about uh, the ribbon. It's all about having fun, meeting new people, enjoying yourself. I just uh, like showing off my muscles. <laughs>
and TV, and I love it. <laughs> I believe this is important as it shows people that people with this special needs are kind-hearted and are just like you and me. We can do all types of things that other people can. Sometimes we need a little bit of guidance, and uh, that's okay. My most exciting sport is volleyball. I am, uh, I am so excited that it's starting soon. And it's active sport. I love my position as a center. It has taught me to be stronger physically as well as taught me the power of teamwork. Enough about sports for now. I would like to tell you about my personal journey. I was born in 1980 in Bremerton at Harrison Hospital. My mom is my guardian and my payee. My mom said I was a shy, uh, far, far full child. My mom says my brother was quiet and always had a bottle in his mouth. <laughs> she, uh, she says when I started crying, I never shut up since. <laughs> I wanted to uh, uh, to a special ed preschool. But no one would turn around to my mom and use the R word. When I was about six or seven, I became slightly aggressive and went to the Navy Hospital. They sent me to an outside head doctor. It was uh, him that said, a, I hate to use this terminology, but she is not severely but elementally retarded. Mm. He said that it's about time to end. It's not severely uh, and change that that word. I was un under his guidance for about a year. I went to school and I attended kindergarten and first grade in the uh, main classroom, then second grade, is when my mom says it was time to crack a whip. <laughs> no more coloring. It was time to focus on uh, my te uh, teacher in the second grade. Didn't want me in her classroom and said I'm not a special ed teacher. She uh, kept saying I could do this, I couldn't do that. It was my mom who said, uh, who asked her, why don't you focus on what she can do? Okay. Yes. It was my stepdad that put on his uniform and went up to the school and said he wanted to speak with the principal and head of the school district. My teacher and uh, whatever other teacher came in, correct, with me during the school week. He said, give me the, a date and time and I'll be there. He didn't give his name and said he would give them the name of his lawyer and today. <laughs> <laughs> he la laid all the uh, papers on the table during the meeting and he and had looked up all the laws and my rights. My mom said, the perfectful uh, per, was useless and uh, sat there like uh, a bump on a log. <clears throat> and the teacher kept making excuses that she wasn't a special ed teacher. Per, per, Principal finally told her to shut her mouth that she was making things worse. <laughs> the su uh, superintendent listed and gave my parents a list of programs in area as my school district didn't have programs that could help me.
I attended Central Kitsap Junior High. I attended the special education program. I love my teacher, that Mrs. Kelly. Uh, she focused on my uh, strengths and helped me grow them. Uh, math wasn't one of them. And it still isn't today. I can count uh, dollar bills and I am proud of myself for not spending all my money in one day. It's a miser. I then went into Olympic High School and I was a voice in Joe Grunlin's classroom. He was amazing. He was the one who helped me get land my job at Safeway. And the work program. He was not only my teacher, but my special Olympic basketball coach. As well, he helped me to become independent and taught me how to take a steady bus. My favorite part of being in his classroom was at the outings. We would go on, and I remember going classroom uh, Christmas shopping in Seattle and out, outings to the mall in Silverdale. I also loved uh, home math and art. During my times in school, I was made fun of a lot. I learned to walk away from them and let it go in one ear and out the other. My mom taught me that people would call me names to get me upset. What helped me through these is difficult days was focusing on my good friends in sports and art. My mom told me that if they got a problem with it, that then it's their problem, not mine. I lived with my mom, then I got connected with a local housing agency for many years. I finally decided to end service with them because they weren't treating me like the way I wanted to be treated. With the help of my mom and my brother, they helped me get out of the program. I briefly moved back in with my mom until I found my own place. I love my mom. It's always there for me that I'm a grown woman and I want to live on my own. <laughs> I made it in my own apartment that I found through my friend Karina. I pay for my bills on my own with this check. My mom is my payee and I love uh, living on my own and being independent. I go to my own doctor appointment and out in the community independently. I need my mom's help to go grocery shopping, not with uh, what to pick out, but help me drive it home, me home and my groceries. I will let you know I give my mom five dollars a week. I was never scared to live on my own. If you want to try it out, that there are people that can help you achieve this goal. The next topic I would like to talk about guardianship. When I found out my mom's health was starting to change, I had to sit down with her and talk about guardianship. My brother is also my guardian, but he was working all the time, and my stepsister lives in Virginia. So we had to think. I talked to my coach 
to see if she would be my backup guardian. She agreed. Last the month, to return the paperwork in, and now the uh, uh, to, uh, to waiting, pending, awaiting to hear back from the court. Okay, uh, I, and and Doris, I encourage anyone who needs a guardian to get one before there is a crisis um, or emergency. Uh, this brings up another subject that many people with disabilities don't have, and that's clearness available or resources to help guide them on this uh, subject. I am referring to to is sexuality. I don't come out. I didn't come out of the closet until I was 25 years old. My mom was the first person I told about to read re yeah. yeah. reacted pretty well. She told me as long as you are happy with the what you are dear, I'm happy for you. I was 25 because I was just afraid of losing my family and friends. My dad said uh, the family was very judgmental. They had a strong faith in God and actually uh, participate in their church. After coming out to my mom, I came out to my grandma they said the same thing my mom said. I knew that I was a lesbian because I had different feelings for women. And I had no interest in men. Don't get me wrong, I love my guy friends, but I don't, I don't want to kiss them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a crush on Megan Rapino, who plays for the Seattle Rain. <laughs> I know she's taken, but I am hoping for the day to become single. <laughs> I tell you, it's been difficult having a relationship in Kitsap County. But that's okay. I'm having a great time being single. <laughs> I participate in my LGBTQ uh, activities. I love going to the Kitsap Pride and Seattle Pride. I would like to tell you, anyone that is struggling with coming out of the closet, don't, don't be afraid. Just come out. You know you are loved. There are people around you that will continue to love and support you, like your friends and family. And people you don't expect you walk away from it. My mom reminds me that I am lucky to be born. In the time I am, she's told me that no one really gives a damn anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what your sexuality is. She told me that I would have worn sweatshirt and jeans to my prom if, if I had my way. <laughs> now, on the later notice, I like to tell you about my job at the same way. I got hired in 2001 at uh, 20 years old as a courtesy clerk. I have been working there for 18 years. And I love the people I work with, especially my boss, Lance, 
he's a wonderful guy and he's a rock star. <laughs> he asks me uh, every single time he sees me, how are you doing on your sports? He's an attendant, uh, breakfast of champions uh, uh, for a special Olympic uh, award ceremony where I was interviewed for 55 minutes. He uh, a great advance for Special Olympics and supporting the people with disabilities and their workforce. He's um, the only safe way that uh, hires a third year for two times a week. Thank you for allowing me to share my stories with you and go hot. <laughs> <laughs> 